Hello, everybody, and welcome back at Adobe Live. I'm here with the wonderful Magali. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited for, be, for being here today and to work with you and with people who is online. Um, I, I am, I'm going to make a little presentation for the ones that don't know me. Um, I am a, a food photographer, mostly, and I also make a still life. Um, I'm going to share my screen a little. Before before we get started, oh, Magali, yes. before we get, I just wanted to say hi to the chat and give a little bit of an intro. We're definitely looking forward to see Perfect. your your screen. And uh, as you said, you're a photographer and creative director based in Argentina, which we were just having a, a little bit of a chat behind the scene. I cannot wait to visit Argentina myself. So I'm sure we're going to have a lot of questions. I want to welcome everybody that is watching from both YouTube and Behance. So come and join this live event and feel free to ask any questions. So Magali, I will be interrupting you during your stream or maybe at the end, whatever you prefer. And I will just pass you a question from the chat. I'm sure everybody's very curious to see your uh, beautiful uh, workflow and maybe ask question about photography. We have a few people in the chat already starting to say hi, clever, Sam, Steve, Garrett, Oliver. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Feel free again to use the chat to uh, ask your questions. And don't forget that you can just uh, work together with us here or simply relax, grab a uh, cup of coffee, and then uh, watch this video again if you subscribe on the Adobe Live YouTube channel. So welcome, everybody. Thank you for, so much for being here with us. And uh, Magali, show us your work. Okay. Hi, Gladys. Sorry for interrupting you before. I am, as I was saying, um, I am really excited to be here. Um, I am a food photographer and, and I also made still life. Um, I really love food and the world around food and the textures. Uh, I, I'm showing you right now, like, um, this is my website, so you can have a quick view. Um, well, I love pastry most, most of all. Uh, sweet things, but well, my my job is really like diverse. Um, so today I'm going to be show you showing you how to make a poster, something like this pretzel composition. It's something that I really like to do. It's like um, to make uh, digital compositions. It's really fun. This with the mushrooms too. Um, it's like a, a like um, an illustration look. Um, and it's, it's really a very I, artistic. I think it's really nice, and I think that everyone can do with things that they like, no? That with with animals, I don't know with anything. It's it's like really a, a tool that it's really. Well, I I really love it. So so I hope that you have fun the way I do with these. Yeah. We are really excited to. Um... To, to see your process. I see a lot of these uh, pictures on Instagram and I'm always super curious um, to see, you know, how do you create that? Because they're, they look so polished, so professional made. So yes, please walk us through your process. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I spent a lot of hours uh, working with the picture. <laughs> and if you don't mind me asking, how did you start it with this? With the food? Yes. Or, yes. Well, I, I mean, I, I have been a photographer for like 20 years, but, uh, but first I started making fashion photography. But then my, like, um, like I, I was like, no, I'm not bored, but something like I, I wasn't like find, finding pleasure no, on that. And I always like to cook and to make especially cakes and, and well, and start shooting my creations. And then I, I found that I was loving that you know like it was like really really enjoy it so <laughs> and and when i start showing images to my clients or people i knew uh from the fashion industry like i i, I started having job like really soon oh wow amazing so, yes 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 i was really really very lucky so i've been so doing came from a, a you put together your hobby of cooking and your professional photography and yes. became your job Yes, yes. I mean, I don't cook anymore for my pictures because it's a lot of job. It's a, no, it's a lot of work, and uh, and I work with professionals. <laughs> well, <laughs> but um, but uh, yes, like I really love to be surrounded with people who love food because everyone is so passionate about this. So, do you work with chefs? I do, I do with chefs, with food stylists, with art directors that are specialized in food. 
Yes. So exciting. I don't know anything at all about the industry. So feel free to share with us as much as insight in terms, you know, how the chef contact you or how that, that works. Yeah, of course. Uh, and we have already a question from uh, uh, coming from YouTube. Uh, what camera do you use? Oh, I am using right now um, Canon uh, Mark IV. Yeah. Okay, is fantastic. It? Yeah, yeah. I, I always use Canon. I love Canon. Canon, if you listen to me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Canon, we got a fantastic <laughs> photographer here that loves your camera. Send us most camera. <laughs> But well, yes, I really like it. So <clears throat> yes, feel free to ask questions, all the people around that uh, we I can be working and, and answering and chatting. I really like this to be fluid because I will be doing like, um, like cutting things out. Uh, so I will need to talk. Fantastic. So I will interrupt you then whenever there is a, a question. Yeah. Going through. At the moment, everybody is, of course, loving the food theme. We have uh, Elisandra Lopez saying, who doesn't love food? I'm here for this. Oh, great. And Becca Hi. saying that they look like painting. That's that's what I thought. They, they look like art. They're oh. artistic painting. They're so, so exciting. Thank um, you. So, yeah, let's get started. Oh, fine. Great. Okay. So, um, I will be sharing my Photoshop here. Okay. So, I have... a. Uh, I have one option that I thought for today that I think it would be really fun because we can do this together. Um, I have this poster that I made a while ago uh, with pumpkins, but mm -hmm. I have a lot of pictures from that photo shoot. So I'm going to, to get these pumpkins and another so we can build a poster together. Um, first of all, I'm going to cut the pumpkins. I have some cut out, but then I, I want to show you how I select and how I cut the things, because I think this is uh, one of the better, I mean, it's the, the better improvements that Photoshop have had over the years, in my opinion, no? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I remember like years ago, like having to cut things with fat or no? Are you, you, you Photoshop? Yes, I do use yes. Photoshop no? and uh, I completely agree with you. It just, I find it so cute that when you, whenever you say cut a pumpkin, I just think about you know, slicing the pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. No, no, we're definitely talking about selected mask and all yes. the wonderful artificial intelligence powered tools that now have been injected inside Photoshop and now they make it a really, really quick and fast. Yeah. Like I used yeah. to spend two hours no, I, I, I used to spend two hours I wish two days sometimes yeah. just to do a selection around Ooh. people around object and now like it's literally click and then refine yeah and it, it, it gets done like by itself it's, impress it's impressive that's our friend Adobe Sensei yeah. <laughs> okay. Adobe Artificial Intelligence yes I love it so uh, what I use is uh, the, the magic one here uh, the Quick selection tool. This is what I use the most. First of all, a, a cute comment about the, the photography. You know, this to make this quick, you have to make like the a really contrast with the background. You know, if you shoot something that is white and with a against a white background, it will be really hard to 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 this intelligent artificial intelligence to work well. So it's important first on, on thinking on the contrast. So um i'm going to start selecting you know like you just like like this and another thing that you have to to consider is like the color of the background because as we are all we are cutting the shadow to the color the shadow will be colored so you can't use like a light blue background and then decide to make your pattern in pink because that won't work and even it won't work if you use white because then the, it will look naturally, you know, natural. So then when I have this selected like that and that quick, I go to select a mask and I go to this tool, which is the refined edge brush tool. And I touch the, the shadow only just to, to soften a little, to make like a blend because otherwise it looks like really like that with scissor. Mm -hmm. Really jacket. So, yeah. So I only touch this because I do want the rest of the pumpkin to, to be sharp. So this is 
already so i i usually do this i copy i paste in another layer no i'm going to i have i'm copying another layer so i uh, can check if the cut is all, is all right before i use the same background color like this so now i'm checking if the cut is okay and it is okay no the, mm -hmm. so I'm going to make a new document. We have a couple example. questions here already. So. Yes, yes, please, please shoot. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, how does Magali get her inspiration for composition? Her eye for it is uh, breathtaking. So we're talking about the way that you create the composition of elements. Where do oh, you thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I mean, I really find uh, the food inspiring, you know, the, the food and, and the colors like um, like the textures on food and i really like to 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 draw to illustrate but i'm not that good so i found this way it's in my way to to make drawings so so well my inspiration is in it's, it's in nature you know in just everywhere thank you yes so nature thank you, and the food itself and it, yeah if we can okay okay, okay. i'm sorry it's okay. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. I want to read the chat too. Don't worry. To I'm here. I'm here to to help you. And if by any Perfect. chance I'm not clear with my questions, I can repeat it to you. Perfect. Um, si le quiere hablar con español es bueno. Ah, bien, good. Si no te, I can help you. Of course, the chat is in English, but we can do Thank a little you. bit of uh, dubbing. I speak Spanish. Um, Magali is joining us from Argentina. So here we welcome everybody here. We are such an international community, Magali. Everybody, uh, let's ask the chat actually to let us know where we're from. We have a wonderful, wonderful international people coming from all over the world. You'll be surprised. So let us know in the chat, both oh. on YouTube and Behance. Yeah. Where are you watching from? And maybe how many languages you speak in chat as well. I think that's quite interesting to see mm. we have another question regarding your lights and yeah. uh aslin is saying i love your lighting all your photos have a beautiful light setup can you show us some behind the scenes do you have any behind the scenes shot of like the way no. the lights are positioned can you no, tell us no. more about it please yes i don't i don't have nothing like to prepare to show i <laughs> i use um, a combination of uh flash with natural light Okay. Uh, but for example, in this kind of shooting that you need a really, really, I'm sorry that I'm showing the, uh, uh, that, um, a really hard light, you know, like these refined edges, like I use flash. Okay. But I, I'm really, I'm not, um, I don't use uh, like really complicated lighting, you know, I, I, I never use like more than three or four lights, um, maybe two lights sometimes. Uh, it's really, I have a, like a really intuitive, uh, it's not okay, intuitive, intuition. Um, yeah, yeah, intuitive. Yeah, like, fine. like a relationship with lighting. And regarding the, the, the other question is like, um, an inspiration for me is the light on the sun, you know, the different times in the day. So when I see a, a light that I like, I, I try to replicate in the studio later. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. So you actually look at the light in nature and then from then you try to bring it back yes. in your art. Yes, that's a really inspirations. So while we talk, um, I will be continue with, with this, with the, with the pumpkins. Yes, there isn't a specific okay. reason why we have pumpkins. Was that like a, an advert? Uh, what was that for? Oh, yes, this was uh, for an editorial work. Uh, it was like um, it was like for hi. Wait that I touch something. I can. Um, um, yes, it was. It, it was uh, during the pandemic, you know, and um, it was like second week of lockdown or something. And a magazine that I that I used to that I always work with. They, they called me to make this, that it was like a ingredients of the season, something like that. Mm -hmm. And usually when I do this kind of job, no, you know, um, I work with a full stylist and she goes to like a, a special grocery place um, to buy maybe organic food or something like it's really nice. And, but in this case, every, everything was close 
And uh, no, I, I don't know how was your lockdown, but here we couldn't get out of our house, mm -hmm. at, at least at first, no? So, yeah, yeah so, so I talked to the magazine and I told them like, okay, I can do this, but I can do this with the groceries in my supermarket, you know, like what I get, what I get there is <laughs> what you have. It. What, what I yeah. get is what you get. <laughs> yeah, so no fancy carrots with leaves uh, or something like, you know, spinach from different colors. It's like regular. And they, they were like, okay, yeah, do whatever you want, so whatever you can. And, yeah. and that, that's the story of these pictures because they, uh, they, they turned out really nice. Um, and I did a them. regular pumpkin, not not a special pumpkin, just a regular. No, no, this is a regular, regular pumpkin. Okay, so um, the people watching, no, I want to ask you, I have the two pumpkins. I want to show you what else do you want? This is, um, what is the name of this? A selga? Something I think like it was a, it looks like a spinach leaves to me. Yes, yes. I, I, <laughs> I don't remember the chariot. No, well, no, no, no. green leaf. Yeah, here, we can choose broccoli. The broccoli. Yeah, or um, we have here. Uh, this is our spaghetti, mm -hmm. and here we have citrix. Choose one. Or someone is is there in the chat. Choose one yes. to add. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So don't worry about it. I'm just gonna take care of the chat. So we have. If you just can show yeah. the images one at a time. Yes. We have yes. this green this, leaf. Yeah. And then we have the broccoli. The broccoli and yeah. then spaghetti. We have the noodles, spaghetti. Yeah. And then I think we have some. Yeah, this not this this yeah the this citrus yeah the citrus yeah. Okay, so in the chat, please let us know. Oh, they're telling us there is a chard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Between an Italian and under Argentinian, we couldn't <laughs> yeah. find the right English yeah. word for the for the green. Chard. Name. Yeah, chard. chard. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um. So let's put a let's put together either the chard, the broccoli, the oh. noodles, or the citrus. <laughs> let us know. Um, okay. Let us know in the chat. Let's give them a minute. We always have a yes. little bit today in the chat. I'm going to start with the chard, just just okay. to have a different. But whenever the people are ready, you can join. You yes. Can tell us. And also, Magali, we have like about a minute or so, or maybe less of delay. So usually whenever we ask something, we just need to give a little bit of a time ah, so perfect. we can have an answer coming together. But feel free to ah. start whatever you want, and then we'll add um, another okay. one. At the moment, we have, we have broccoli and citrus. Oh, together, really? So let's okay. See, let's see what happens. Okay. So no one said char at the moment. <laughs> um. <laughs> No, I don't think so. We have broccoli okay. and citrus. Okay, we, we, but it's we, fine. We have enough no, time no. To, to do that. No, <laughs> no, it's like okay. And citrus. Okay, I'm going to pick one of these. Well, just I, um, because I am here, I'm going to show you how I remove some dots. No, that they Perfect. have some time. Yeah, I use the the um, the band aid. Uh, yes, the spot healing brush tool. This is another uh, improvement of Photoshop, in my opinion, because I used to use the, the stamp, um, which is really good. But this is magic, the Spot Healing Brush Tool, you know? Uh, I think it also works with uh, anti uh, artificial intelligence. Yes. Yeah. yes. He has had, has had a many, many improvements right now. It's, it's pretty, yes. pretty amazing. It's amazing and it's really quick. So I, I made a new layer. So I have the these corrections in separate layer in just in case I don't like anything. Just this is a quick fix just for you to see how I do these kind of things. I don't retouch my, my things a lot, but I do this a lot, like remove imperfections or no, I don't know, you know, like things that I think can be better. Look, now that we are making a zoom in this orange, like it's not the best orange in the world, <laughs> but this is but approved. For for just a technical technical tip, if, if yeah. uh, someone else is trying to attempt what you're doing, which is uh, uh, applying this uh, um, healing to a to a new separate layer, yeah, I just want to point out to make sure that whenever you have that tool selected, you make sure that you tick sample of layers in the option bar. So whenever you Ooh. actually select the healing tool you will see on the top bar. Oh, um, yeah. There is a little tick that says um, to basically grab, uh, to sample all layers. So that will give you the opportunity to work like Magali does. 
sample Basically, all layers. Were, yes, yes here it is. Here yeah. it is. Yes. Because otherwise, if you don't have that tick, it will only sample the layer that you're on, and you're working on an empty layer, so that the result would be nothing. I just want to make sure that everybody that yeah. is uh, following you can achieve the same results, which is a great way to work non-destructively. Yes, it's a it's a really good uh, comment because it happens sometimes that it's why it's not working, why it's not working, and then you said, oh, I forgot this. So I really like to see the changes, like turning on and off the layers. So I think this is okay for me. Now I merge layers. Another thing that I love from Photoshop is the George shortcuts that you can make by yourself, the custom shortcut. So I have a lot, like for example, merge, merge layers is a shortcut for me. Mm -hmm. Like things that I use really quick, it's really time saving. Yes, shortcut, it's like playing the piano while working. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> we have another question from Paola. What yeah. would be your dream photo shoot and with uh, what brands of or food? Oh, my dream photo shoot. Um, I mean. Maybe with Canon? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> oh, Canon. Um, <laughs> Yes, I mean, I really, my, my dream really is like, a, it's something I am working on right now. It's like only work for like my creative work, you know, and don't have clients. <laughs> I mean, don't, don't work in for, for brands. Mm -hmm. uh, that is my dream, like only make my creative work, my personal work. And, but regarding products, I really like pastry. So I would love like, I don't know, maybe in Paris, you know, or something like patisseries or, or an ice cream that that someone with a really nice product that uh, wants to make something creative. That will be a, a, like a dream to me. Perfect. So yeah, any fine patisserie in uh, France or Paris, if you want to get in touch, we have Magali that uh, looks looks forward to work with some fine Fine patisserie. And maybe uh, I'm happy just with a box of uh, <laughs> some <laughs> cream. <laughs> cream stuff, stuffed something. I'm just happy with a paper. Um, I mean, maybe you can take a picture, Magali, and then send it back to me so I can Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we, we asked about um, where people were from, and we know that we have our lovely um, Steve from New Zealand. Then we have Eve from Brazil. Bellu from Uruguay, Oliver from the UK, Gareth from Scotland, and Buso from South Africa. As I mentioned, this is a fantastic international community. We have so many continents and countries. It's yeah. absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us here. Yeah, thank you so much. So many countries. I love that. And all the people that are watching are photographers. They either want to tell us what they do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's actually mm. ask that. So I'm a photographer in the house. If you're a photographer, just put a hands up or just let us know that you're a photographer. Even if you would like to be a photographer, if you're just starting uh, yeah. or if you're a designer that uh, maybe is keen towards photography, just let us know in the chat uh, what do you do. And uh, if, you, if you're trying to produce something uh, like Magali does in terms of uh, artwork with food. Yeah. I'm just asking, looking at the chat. Uh, everybody, I think the food is getting everybody going in conversation. It's a, <laughs> such a great oh. topic. Always is like yeah. pets and food. So bring yeah. a little kitty or a little doggy or some food and we're all happy. <laughs> yes, yes. It's something that really put, um, makes people together, no? The food. Let's see if there is a question from Elisandra. Let me go ahead and check it. Um, um, oh, no, we missed it. So. Uh, Alessandra oh. was asking, what was something that was surprising to learn about yourself in your career? Oh, wow. Very <laughs> nice deep question. question. <laughs> Very deep. I mean, I have to take this question to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think I always, I have always been a creative person and my family is a family of artists. So I have really like been that part of myself, like really, you know, um, allow that the, the, I mean, the most things that I want to learn is about self-confidence, you know, in this career, because when you're doing something that is creative and it's not right or wrong, you know, so it's like, sometimes it gets it's messed up, no? If you're doing it, it's, it's nice what you are doing, or if it's not, if people like it. So I think that is what I 
most been learning and working on myself. I mean, to to be okay with what I do, and I mean, I really love what I do, but it, but well, I don't know because sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes I have doubts, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I think everybody. We're, we're all, yeah, we yeah. all we all go through there. I think that I mean, yeah. You clearly, you clearly been working on it because this work is loud and beautiful in the most outstanding way, and it's it's great that you say both of your parents are artists, so. Um, they come from that background where, you know, you learn yeah. so much from the mistakes in art. Yeah. You create from the mistakes. Yeah. So it's, it's beautiful yeah. to have that freedom. Yeah. Yeah. Because in, when you are doing creative work, you know, you, you really need to to have some some kind of confidence because because otherwise it won't work. Yes. So Alessandra, yeah. wow. Thank you so much for this amazing yeah, question. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Keep them really coming. Nice. We're, we're very happy to answer your question. Um, yeah. And we're now on the broccoli. I voted broccoli. Yeah. Well, here we have a nice example of what not to do. In this case, the low contrast, you know, it's light blue against light blue. And it's, it's giving me a hard time. Let's see how this goes. But it's, it's nice that this happens so you can see what not to do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I I don't think I will use this. I'm really sorry. And we don't like plastic anymore. So <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, so, so let's teach the plastic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is this is it's okay. Don't say okay. And maybe well I I will start with this. Maybe have one one more. What else did we have? We had uh, the chart. Yeah, the chart, but the chart has plastic and light blue. Oh, no, so... the noodle. Yeah. And also maybe with the noodle. Ah, the noodle. In the, the, same, noodle. In the same yes. palette. So we see them yes. in like I yellowish like. color. So Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's let's pick this. This so is this a... was the, Sorry, to, yeah. just a quick question. This was actually the original photo? Yes, yes. That's what I want to say, that this is an original composite, a composition. And the thing is, when you do the, the compositions, like for real... They don't look as good as, as digital. I don't know why, because I try to do this like for real a lot. And, you know, it, it's nice, but it will be it's much nicer when you, you do it on Photoshop. There's you have something... more control. You have more yes. control in the, yes. Yes. the final. Because I think that there is the eye and then when it's get captured, it's not the same bringing it back yes. into, into digital. So yeah. maybe it looks good on the eye, but then on the machine loses yeah. a bit so I think. yeah it's something like for pattern for a pattern to work then it starts to be like a system and when there's something like interrupt that or with this organic shape or something like that uh, like it, it won't work you know i don't think this i don't think this it's nice but it's not that nice but we're going to make it nicer here <laughs> okay Okay, we are going to this. This channel. This is quite tricky. When you have like uh, things, you know, like hairs or things like this, sometimes uh, it's it's a little bit hard. But okay, so this is where your imagination um, comes to play. So I like to do, for example. For example, sometimes I have like a lot of objects, but maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't know if this is going to work. So maybe I turn this off and and then I, if I need it, I will come back. So with the option option key with this copy, I start copying this like this. And this is another thing that I do that I think really works, that I don't measure anything. Uh, I don't, I just grab and, and, and this is something that worked for me, like in an organic way. I make it like my eye, like my eye tone. Okay. Cause yeah. that was my question coming from you. Like, do you have any layout or anything that you do like on pencil no. before? No, no, this is, this is the way I do. Sometimes I try to make it like, like measuring and making like a grid and mm -hmm. it, it didn't show out well because Sometimes things, the shapes are so different um, that, okay, sometimes, for example, this that, has, that is so long, maybe we can make it smaller. This goes away and maybe we can make one and one. I think the color works really well, these three that we... Yeah, 
no the the orange and the light blue you said yeah and also the different you know the 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 noodles everything is like a warm food against yeah uh, the cold background rather than than using the greens yeah it is it's true okay i'm going to we have another question for you whenever you're ready yeah yes i am ready <laughs> you're yeah, ready okay so we have another question from paula which is also from argentina and yeah. loves your work Thank and she's you, asking paula. what type of lenses do you usually use technical question yeah technical question i use um i have a 50 millimeters and um and and 100 millimeters that's the, the lenses that i use the most fantastic there is any reason why you pick these lenses? Why do you swap between one and the other? Well, no, because um, I, I, they are both macro. So for food, you know, the key uh, after after lighting, but the key is to be in close to food uh, because you need to show the texture in in order to people uh, to make people wants to eat it, which is the final uh, obje objective for the photos. Um, you need to be close. So I, I use macros a lot, and and that's why 50 is like good to make something. When you get close with a 50, yeah, things tends to deform. Mm -hmm. So I I really not like that. No, it's not like a, a great angle. How do you say? I'm sorry. Uh, how do you say gran angular? Yeah, wide angle. Great angle. Yeah, it's it's a, a little effect like a great angle, but but not that much. But it's like really like the the formation mm -hmm. when you use a fifty. It's so almost close. like a fisheye. Yeah, yeah, like, like really much more subtle effect. But yes, and the hundred is like really um, like straight and respect the the shapes really well. So when you're making like product or shooting something for advertising, like I use a hundred because you know that the 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 product will be like perfect. You know that no there will be no distortion you don't do any fashion at all anymore have you completely... no no anymore anymore i mean i i i don't shoot people that should, it's okay to say that i, yeah, I don't yeah, yeah uh, i don't shoot people that that much sometimes i do some things but but it's not but i'm not that fun mm -hmm. yeah i'll just oh, be okay. curious because you have so much experience so i just think it'll be nice to see like where these uh, high comes from because I'm sure being exposed to um to fashion has definitely gave a lot contributed a lot to to the work you do now yes I think fashion can be it's really different because food photography the sets are really small and the and the, the crew is much smaller you know it's more quiet mm -hmm. and and it, you you have like uh, to pay attention to details like a lot like you know sometimes I, I take like six pictures in one day <laughs> and but when you you should photo uh, fashion is like uh, uh, the crew is a lot no like more big more big like you have uh, makeup artists the wardrobe the like it's a lot of people and and as the as the shoots are more wide like I mean it's different because you it's, it's you have to to it's different with them the, with people and the lighting is really different but i i think i really like some things that i did in fashion you know because of the colors and the fabrics the textures it's really it's a really nice world too yeah that's what i was thinking that it, it might be influencing the, your your eye for sure for sure um, yeah for sure i am i am sure that i learned a lot no there i learned a lot I have a little question, um, which I know I'm going to be a little bit of a pain. So I apologize. Disculpe. Okay. <laughs> For the Good shadows, call. how do you like align the shadows? Do you make sure that you shoot everything with the same shadow? So that yes. when you create a composition. Yes. Um, yes. You, you need to okay. use the same lighting, okay. the same background. And even to, I, I try to place things in the same spot. Oh, okay. Yes. Wow. Yes, yes. Unless you are trying to make something different, but in order to have the same angle for every, to everyone, for, for all the things, you know. 
Perfect. That's that's. I didn't think about that. So you have the same lighting, the same background, but also yeah. try to respect the same positioning, not only in the angle, which we can see everything going like on sort of diagonal, but also in the exact physical place. Yeah. Yes, because so you have the the same view, you know. Totally. Yeah. I mean, maybe if you will do this for real, you won't have the same view, of course. But I think that is what digital makes it better and more organic to the eye, more more easy to to. Well, because it's slightly surreal, you know, because yeah. it, it couldn't be like that in in the real world. So I think that's where it becomes artistic, because you're yeah. forcing it, you're forcing it a little, but it that's where you bring your beauty, your eye comes into place. Thank you. So exciting so much movement like that's what i was noticing of your of your stills they're still live but there is so much life into it with the composition oh thank you i really try to to it's something that i work a lot on that you know like like to feel that someone has already left the table or something is falling like to show human life or or, or life no it's it's something that i, I really work on that Oh, you can you can definitely see coming through this this movement. I call it movement, but life. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. I, I yes, I like that thing when things like drop, you know, or the things break or something is halfway eaten. Okay, so here we have this is the first one. Then when I have like here this. You know, it's different when the things have so different kind of shapes, you know, like the oranges with the pumpkins. But I think it's really nice because I think the, the colors, how, how they work. For example, these, now I, I start to arrange this, but with the eye, just to see. Okay. 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 So how does it look? Oh, I love it. Okay. I love the way that you have, um, I, I love the two pumpkins, the fact that we have like the slice and the cut pumpkin that really caught my eye. That, I think that's really, really lovely. That, the that pumpkins, the, yeah. Yeah, because you have the one with the missing piece and then you have the piece following. Yeah, yeah, I really <coughs> like <it. clears throat> Okay, so now, no, it's okay. I will try to, I, no, did not. I'm going to, wait can I move something in the back? I can, um, I'm going to make another version of this with uh, only the pumpkins, just to have a little brighter. Let's see how it looks like this, you know. And the and the sh and it still works. You can you can play around with light blues, but for example, if you use I don't know like this, you know, the shadow will tell you that you are like lying and this is horrible have you ever tried to like uh sorry i'm just curious technically oh yeah <laughs> so yeah I'm ask it <laughs> so perhaps the way that i would try to change color is like to merge your final like to group it create a copy merge it so you have like a, a copy of it and then maybe use the u adjustment layers to try and change it i don't know if that's that could work um no I, 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 let, let, uh, again please because i didn't get it Okay, yeah. If you just have like everything in one layer, so maybe yeah. you have a copy of everything just yeah. put together in one layer, everything yeah. merged, and then you apply the U adjustment. Oh, the the color, el color, adjustment yeah. color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that could work or not. That's that's what I usually tend to use, but sometimes works, sometimes not. So uh, maybe you take a picture of this, so I can. This is. A to use what I, I'm trying to do. I want to try what you're saying. So okay. I take a I take a photo just oh, to save wow. to save it. Yes, I always do that. Take a photo, so save the actual layers, and then I'm going That's to That's really, really cool. So from the history panel, you just take a snapshot. Yeah. That's exactly, so cool. exactly. So then I can come back there if I regret. Perfect. I tend so. to merge, but uh, um, I'm actually taking notes on this. We're, yeah, we're yeah, swapping I, kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay good so this is now merge so you said go to hue well, here uh, unlock the layer first okay yeah yeah just click on it yeah and then from the adjustment layer there is a hue 
Hue, saturation, yeah, perfect. Yeah, hue, saturation. If you have the, do you see the little hands? La mano que está. Yeah. Hand. So if you yeah. click the hand and then you go select the color. So oh. the cyans. And then you use the use lighter inside the panel to change it. You, Protects the, the other color. <clears throat> and you can do. Oh, I just like that this. color. Oh, this is, oh my God. No, no, I don't believe this. This is like really discovery for me. No, it's, it's beautiful because it's also changed the colors of the of the back of the shadows. Shadow, yes. It yeah. just picks up the color that you selected. So whatever mm. it is. Now the thing is that you don't have any blue in the fruit. So it yeah. completely preserve the fruit. So that's yeah. great. If you add some uh, blue, yeah. let's say inside the melon, you add blue seeds or something, that will change as well because it's selecting the pixel of mm. the color that you have picked with your little hand so this won't work in in case you have something of the same color it will change you will have to separate mm. um just whatever you don't want to uh don't want to work mm. uh, don't want to change but i think okay. you know for stuff like that where you have enough contrast it just picks up all the reflections as well so we have two yeah. tips we learn how to create a yeah. snapshot from the history mm. panel how do you go back from your snapshot can you show us yeah yeah like that okay History and then pick you you click on this snapshot and then you go back then and I have all my layers again here. Perfect. And yeah. then how to change the replace the color using the U saturation um adjustment layer. I show that again. Oh no, no, no it's okay. fine, it's fine. I'm, I'm just okay. I'm just recapping. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Okay. I'm so happy that I learned something new. It's like they have so many tools and it changed so much, like from version newer, version newer, version. It's like you never end learning, no? That's the beauty of it. You never learn, yeah. learn you never hand, and you yeah. always can exchange. That's that's why I love Adobe Live so much. Yeah. Because you like I get to exchange so many tips without a professional. I have sometimes Adobe Live just um um like let it play in the background yeah. when I work. And I just yeah. sometimes I'm like, oh, you know, like this snapshot thing, I don't do it. And yeah. from now on, I'm just going to use the Magali trick and do the snapshot because I think it's such a time saver. It's amazing. It is. Well, I'm going to use your tip from the hue. Because we have what... two questions for you. Okay, perfect. Three questions. Yeah. So Paula is asking, do you have a, a moments where you doubt about your work? Can you give us an advice to those who work in art? Okay. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> well, this yes, I I do have doubt sometimes. Of course, um, some I, I mean I am trying to. It's like something like the question before, not like I always. Uh, I mean I I'm trying to more and more believe in what I do. I mean, no, I'm trying. As the time goes by, I am more confident about my work because because um because i mean i'm not doing this for anyone in at the end of the day i'm doing this it's not my way of expression so as soon as i understood that for me it's just it, it brought me a lot of peace so i do this because i love and and if people like i'm really happy but if you don't i mean i'm so sorry i mean of course i want to have work no i'm not mm -hmm. i don't live like in in overseas but um but but well, and my mean the, the my advice is that <laughs> is that I mean for me it's really important to develop your own voice because there are a lot of photographers in the world and a lot of uh, musicians and, and everything. Not we are a lot of people doing art and and the only thing that it will make you different from other people is that it may, it's it's your voice, you know, your expression. So. For me, it's really important to work on that so you can find it and you can develop. And that is what makes you different and what you make it like stand in, mm -hmm. in the crowd. Um, so it's a really internal work more than be watching or seeing what other people are doing and copying or being envy or jealous, you know, like that energy is not creative. Like you have to be focused on yourself and what you're doing and improve and I mean, it, it's um, like like finding, connecting with yourself. That it's really hard. It's easy to say, but hard to do. Absolutely. But, <laughs> yeah. Takes a lot. Of, I don't think I personally am still there. Like I do a lot of illustrations and a lot yeah. of work. 
And even people that I work with all the time, they don't know it. They don't know about it. Just because I hide. I hide oh. my, my illustration work so much. Why? <laughs> Why do you do that? Because I, you know, I've not, I've not studied design. I've not done it for many years. So it just, it will come out. I've done a book. So, you know, sometimes I come out with something. I then I've done a book about plants and that, that was one way for me to release it in one breath. Yeah. So I can't do it. Like I work behind the scene, <laughs> like a little mouse in my lab, lab. And then sometimes it comes out. But I, I really love that you are, to see someone so talented like you and so successful, um, you know, seeing that it go, go through the same struggle as an artist where you know you might not like your work you think people do better work than you and your work is not good enough but focusing on your voice i think that's such a fantastic advice that you that you share yes you sh you should sh you should share your work because there are people that will like it you know like i mean it's so subjective the taste like what is nice or what is ugly it's like there are people doing so much ugly work that is beautiful you know or people in <laughs> a museum <laughs> yes or, or people that is doing really a lot of followers and a lot of, and it's so ugly what they do and they are really successful so there is place for everyone in earth for uh, all of us can be successful yeah so but Because you have to show yes you have to show your work please Claudia. I will. I will. I'm working on another book right now. So at some oh, point, at some point it. it will come out. Um, okay. More question from Aslin. Do you usually do the art direction of and the concept of all your photos? Um, <laughs> yes, mostly of the time. I mean, I I make the creative direction, you know, like I I think the concept and then I I decide the, the path. I want to go, but then I work with our directors and full stylists and I work with them as a team. Um, I say, okay, let's do this, let's go with this way. And they uh, finish the, to get all the things because it's like a really big work and lots of details. And of course I can't do this all by myself, mm -hmm. but um, I, I made a, I like to think all the, the, the concepts. Yes. Except when it's advertising that you can't like make have an opinion no? or, or yes, you an opinion. <laughs> yes you can but if, I mean everything is decided by beforehand but when it's more personal work or with when I talk to the client more directly or people just sometimes approach to me that they say like okay I like what you do like what do you recommend so in that case I make proposals and it's Amazing. part of my job yes and I really like that perfect and it's yeah. nice when you can find clients that leave you some room. So we have a, a bit of love coming from Shirley in Spanish. So I'm just going to pass it to you. But then please, let's keep the chat in English. Although we love the yeah. love. So Shirley says, Me encanta el consejo muy puntual y cierto. Saludos desde Merida, Yucatán. So oh, Shirley, thank you gracias. so much for the love. Gracias. De Merida, que lindo México. <laughs> <laughs> please, let's keep the chat in English so we can oh. all share it together. Um, if you want to keep okay. working, I'm noting a couple other questions so we can move on. Yes, and then I'm have... going to, yes, just just send me questions when you have, I, I'm going to, there is no more questions now? Oh, there are, I would just oh. leave in there so we can work a little bit or you just want to, okay. up to you, whatever you prefer. No, no, just uh, make me the questions. Okay, questions. So yeah. um, we have one more question uh, with from Eve Leoncio. How do you find clients? Oh, um... Yeah. Or clients well, find you. <laughs> yes. And now uh, the clients find me, but I think for the start, you have to show work. You have to make photos and upload them. And when people see the work, you have, to, I mean, maybe in Instagram is a nice place or Behance um, to showcase your work. You have to post what you want to be called for, you know? Like you say, okay, I want to make food. I only upload food photography. I don't upload anything. I don't do anything else. But in case you are starting, you have to to decide what you're doing. Because another thing that is important for me, and I, I, beside the finding your voice, is to specialize in one thing. Like you can't make weddings and dogs and baby bo newborns and food. Mm -hmm. um, so. It's for me, it's better to specialize. Okay, you make weddings, okay, just have a, a portfolio with weddings. And, and how do you choose? How did you choose? Well, it's it's what what, what makes you feel the best, the best. No, okay. I mean, I, I love food, 
And I don't like weddings, for example. <laughs> that was an but easy I, one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I have people that they love to be surrounded with people and yeah. with, to make social and lucky, lucky for the people that get married that they have photographers. <laughs> It's like the dentist, you know, like they say, oh, okay, I could never do that. But, but lucky that there are people that like doing that. Absolutely. Yeah. So for everybody that is joining us, I cannot believe we're already midstream. So we just have yeah. uh, one more hour together. Make mm. sure to pass your question in the chat here with Magali. She's super open in answering questioning regarding freelance work or techniques or tools. So use this time together during the, the live stream to ask these questions. And again, welcome from YouTube and Behance. Um, so if you're just joining us right now, I just want to remind you that we're working on creating some beautiful photography and still photography composition using Photoshop. Magali so far has shown us how to create masks and create compositions together. Um, so I also want to remind everybody that these will be available in the replay. So feel free just to use the chat and have a watch and relax. So if you want to try the techniques that Magali is showing, you can always go back from the YouTube channel and just watch the replay with us and maybe try it out because that's the beauty. Like I try a lot of things that people show on, on uh, Photoshop or, or Illustrator, depending on the techniques on Adobe Live, I bookmark them or I save them yeah. um, inside YouTube. And then whenever like, oh, I remember that stream and then I go and, and watch it again. Yeah, it's a really way, way to learn, no? Watching this. Absolutely. These these classes this is a safe oh. space we all learn together we all share what we yes. know how to do don't know how to do so it's quite it's wonderful. really nice it's really nice it's really nice i like um just one at least i think this is done i want to show you some, one more thing that i discovered by accident one day that you know the canvas size um and i i the background i i said it's white like this, I turn white background, like this, for example. So then I I make like random number, I don't know, five and five, let's see. And look what happens. And this is really nice, no? Like the, I'm going to make a little bigger, like, no, this is not. Image, canvas size, for example, three and three, like this. Then you can feel, oh, me look. Then you can feel, the gaps yeah like this um but i don't know that this happened to me like once as a as an accident and like and i really like no like a frame mm -hmm. that's so cool you're extending your canvas yeah and creating a, a frame around it yeah so it's fun. like yes it's like really it's a really nice effect i'm going to feel this tick 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 <laughs> like this i don't know i really like this so it's well really bringing yeah. more movement more movement in the still. yeah it's it's um it gives more like an illustration vibe for Do you me use illustrator at all no no brush? no i don't use it i only use it just to send budgets to invoice because the designer made it in illustrator okay yeah to to write text you know it's like it's not the idea but um but no i i don't draw i'm i this is what i i do the most okay so i have another poster that so we can we can play a little bit to get no because we have we yes. have more time yes we have one hour together oh oh perfect so this one is um this is something that i regularly do here with argentinian kind of desserts you know it's like this is uh, postres argentinos with that it says uh, argentinian desserts no mm -hmm. so i i grab like typical desserts or food from here and i i do poster you know the french patisserie posters that are really like vintage mm -hmm. well i like to do this with with different type of food from here no like local so This I'm so glad and, you picked that yeah. one because I saw that on your Instagram. Oh, and, you did? Uh, yeah, and it really stood up because there is a. I was in Milan not long ago, and um, in the Navigli, which are the little um, canals in Milan, there is uh -huh. on the corner an old patisserie shop that has a sign 
mm. um, which it just recalls the, the same feeling. Or even if it's just a sign with the logo, it yeah. gives me the same feeling. So you brought me back to the old patisserie shop in in, uh, in Italy, in Milan. Oh. And then he has a similar menu outside. And I was like, you totally got exactly what it is because that's that's really is a, the way they used to do it in the 20s, 30s. Yeah, I, I love so much the imagery from that time, you know, or the recipe, the recipes, uh, the book of recipes with that kind of photos or the food that is so strange. Um, but but yes, I really love that. The, the Italian patisserie is amazing. Like in, I've been in Sicily. Oh, wow. Yes, and it's like it's almond everywhere. It's so yummy. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of meringues. <laughs> yeah. So I'm oh, going to... I'm hungry now. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, I'm going to 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 cut uh, one or two just just to show some another tools for example I, something that a friend told me uh, that she made is for example this is um what we see in the in the right corner on the on down is uh, something that i used to to how do you say to bounce the lights Okay. So yeah, so I I don't care because I always I always cut the, the the dish. But I want to show you because I really like this. I select this with the lasso tool, mm -hmm. and then I go to fill. Content aware fill. I use the content content aware. I say okay. And ta -da! And Amazing. that I yes, and I pick with that with this tool. I pick everything, all the backgrounds that that have problems and everything. It's magic. So I want you to show you that. Amazing. There is also a brand new feature and this is like brand, brand, brand new is a shortcut. Ah, so yeah. if you click on the content aware tool, uh, which yeah. is a little uh, square. So if you go back to wherever you yeah. had the, okay. in the little corner there, yeah, <clears throat> there, uh, before you make the selection, if you go on the content aware tool, content aware uh, tool. Okay. It's like how a little do... square. Let me see exactly how it looks like on your, Okay. Uh, is if you if you go into the selection tool and uh, should be under the uh, the little quick selection tool. Click there. Click and hold. Yeah. Object yeah. selection o tool. Object. Perfect. Yeah. 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 So if you now click and drag over the corner that you want to that you want to change and maybe hold shift to create. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Ah. Uh, there. You go. If you go hover. Sorry. Yeah. I'm explaining uh, that really, really wrong. If you just <laughs> leave every undo, undo every, anything. Yeah, every, every okay. Place. So if you okay, just wait. undo, yes, okay. undo, yeah, it should, it should, oh, okay. I, wait, it's I not mean, working because it's bringing all the yes. colors together. No, okay. So, I, but I'm not doing mm, nothing. Okay. No, 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 it's not, it's not your, it's not your fault. So that the beauty of the object selection okay. tool is that it's, yeah. it selects things automatically. Oh, okay. oh, because we ah. have the colors. See, you can cut the entire ah. plate and the cake all in once. Ah. So if you click on the plate, yeah, there, there. If you click ah. on it, Beautiful. it makes a selection. Oh, it's done. It's done. It's done. Oh, it's... yeah. And then I have select and mask like like before. No, just if you no, if you just go no. on the mask layer, uh, on the little under the um, Wait. Wait. La layers panel. Oops. Yes. Click layer. and then go into the layers panel. And create yeah. a mask very very bottom of the panel yeah no here the it other is. one yeah. yeah boom oh done perfect oh i like this i'm going to do... oh, so okay. many things it was just a way to show a different tool i was trying to do something else but with the yes. color it didn't really work but yeah. here we go object selection tool is very new it's about one year old and oh. it automatically select it looks at the picture is artificial yeah. intelligence looks at the picture and then automatically selects the object inside your oh, photo. So okay. you will see that overlay, whatever is pink, is yeah. telling you, hey, do you want this? Do you want that? So imagine you have a candle, you can select the candle. If you have three candles, you can select three candles and then mask it and automatically mm -hmm. uh, creates the selection for you. And then you can go and select a mask and smoothen the edges or do whatever you usually do. But oh, it's just so I... quick. Yes, it is. I'm going to select this pink. It's really nice this this tool. It's really fast, very let's very see, fast. And then if you how... can get rid, you can either merge the mask. So you can either merge the layer with a little mask there. Oh okay, yeah. Or nice. um, no, just right click on it, and yeah. um, you can rasterize it from there. Let's see. So oh. it should be towards the 
rasterize what, what is it rasterize i don't find it rasterize layer site they don't if you don't... right click on it maybe just merge it Com command or control control e. oh so i merge it first yeah you can merge okay. it okay okay i'm going to delete this okay Perfect. like that okay yeah Where's Perfect. It? oh you could have kept yeah okay I think because you didn't have a background, you made a white background. But I'm just gonna leave it there and let you work because I was just okay. trying to do no. show you something and don't worry about yeah. it. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. But I, I like, I like what you're, what you're, learn, what you're teaching. Okay, so we have the first one. Um, I'm going to, to cut that two or three, and then we can go jump to the poster. Uh, this can be tricky. For example, this. I really like this one. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se llama este postre? Eh, merengue, merengue. Mm. It has dulce de leche on the middle. It's really typical oh. here. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's really hot. Yeah. So yummy. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> I really like mere merengue. Okay, so select a mask. I'm going to work on the on the shadow a little bit. This I, I made this with a really nice pastry chef that is from here. Oh, she... you made all these desserts? Yes, she did. No, not me. Oh. <laughs> she, but she made everything. Because when I invited her to do the poster, I was like, you can make some, but then you can buy some. Because I really wanted to be standard. Mm -hmm. But she made everything. Everything oh, from wow. scratch, the ice cream. No, no, she's like amazing. So good. Yeah, okay. So we are, we are good with this. So now I'm going to... For example, this line with um, I think oh, it looks so pale. No, it's the same. It's the it same. It looks thing. a little bit more gray. Yes. How? This is well. Okay. So let's. Okay. No, I know. I'm going to choose a a brighter pink because it's so depressing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was too dark. Yeah, it was. Yes, and I and I really like that. Like, uh, it has like a vintage look, no, because of mm -hmm. the colors that it, they are not that. Wait. No. So I'm going to delete the background. Hi. Okay. And here. Okay, and then we're going to take this one. Okay. We have the is that yeah. ice cream? This is this is an ice cream. It's called casata. I think oh, it's Italian yes. or not. Yes. Yes. Okay. I didn't have that in a long time. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be messaging my mom. Please. Usually my parents are in chat. I don't know what happened. No, my dad is oh. a call. But they usually come and say hi in the chat with us. Oh. I just wanted to tell Mama, send me some cassata, please. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, and, and you live in London, no? You said Manchester. In Manchester, and and they don't have like cassata oh, no. there. No. 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 How is the ice cream in England? Um. Being an Italian in well, the eyes of an Italian. Of, there are exactly. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of gelato. There are a lot of gelato places. Yeah. So there are a lot of Italian spots, which are quite nice. But it's funny because everybody's asked me, "Hey, what is your, uh, what is your favorite Italian restaurant in Manchester?" And I always say, "My home." <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I'm away from. Manchester. <laughs> yeah, I get my um, oil uh, ingredients, like I don't know, sort of stuff that lentils. Oh. I get everything delivered from from Italy. Oil. Yeah, oil, oil, extra virgin olive oil. But home. I, I know I can, it's so Italian, know that the mother sends <laughs> the, the, the children. Trust no? me, when I moved, oh gosh, now it's been a while. I'm, I'm also a British citizen now because it's been over 10 years that I'm here. Oh, um, a lot. But uh, it was so funny when I first moved, my mom used to send me luggages with cheese, fruit. Like, I was no. like, mom, I'm in a, in a developed country. We have supermarkets. I can go out and buy. <laughs> But still to these days, like sometimes she sends me like, you know, medicines and stuff. Um, I'm like, mom, it's okay. I like simple stuff, like toothbrush, you know, you yeah. cannot, or toothpaste. Oh. Like, mom, we can buy toothpaste in England. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, or tuna. I have this, like, 
It's so yeah. crazy. I had these random luggages where I could find toothpaste, tuna, olives, pasta, oil, and I'm like, I I love that. I love your mom. Where is my cassata though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I they're so I beautiful. Love. Yeah, but I mean, you you. I'm sure you you can get good uh, good oil in in there or not. Um, I. Where, where I'm from is not like it's not only Italy. I'm from a region in the south, just opposite to Greece. So we are producer of olive oil. Oh, so you're so like that's why I said I'm spoiled because I come from a region where we have the freshest. Like our oil is very, Ooh. very thick, very. Green. What is the What is the, the name of your town? I I want to try that oil. It's called leche. So it's leche. like milk in Spain. Yeah, but it's oh, like double, double C. L E double C E. I'm going to write that down because... Oh. Yeah, we'll be in touch. I'll message you on Instagram and I'll tell you like... Yes, please, because I need I need to talk to your mom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we need some shipping in Argentina, please. <laughs> oh, yes. My sister lives in Spain. Maybe I can I can tell her. Oh, where about? Just, just, yeah. Just where, where in, in Madrid. In Madrid. Madrid. Yeah. Do you go visit her? Yeah, yes. I, I, I went this year. Yes, I did. So maybe next time I, I can send me yes, a little. Yeah. In Madrid. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Also, I travel a lot, so it'd probably be faster for me to bring you something in Argentina. Mm, that would be a Where dream. about are you in Argentina? What? Where, which Where? city? Yes. Oh, in Buenos Aires. It's the oh, capital. Wow. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Is that where you're from? Where you yes, born yes, yes. I have always live here. Yes, so good. it's it's really hot now. It's not the best time. Also, I mean, it's really nice, but it's like 40 degrees. I don't know in Celsius. Oh, in, wow. In Fahrenheit. Yeah. Yeah, no, I do. I do Celsius. So 40 degrees yeah. is very hot. It's like no, no, it's, summer. Yes, it's like really, really hot. So I, and I have to be here like be uh, next to the modem because I have to be connected. So <laughs> I don't have an air conditioner here. <laughs> so, oh, I'm sorry. So, no, no, it's okay. We but, have less than an hour, so uh, it's just a, a little bit uh, longer here with us uh, in the heat of Buenos Aires. <laughs> and here I'm like, I have a cold, I'm coffee, and I've been taking like all sorts of like candies for mental because here it's cold. It was minus five uh, <gasps> Celsius. Oh, so. like it's snowing. It didn't snow, but it's all icy. Uh, so it's quite cold. Let us know in the chat how is it going there and what it looks like, where you're from, because yeah. we have so different parts of the world. So we can actually see um, what the different parts are like. Perfect. So here we have all the cutouts yeah. coming together. I already had like everything cut out. So Perfect. you don't have to. Yes. And so those are the... PNGs? Yes, are PNGs. Yes. I have only the layer of the the way I show you. Mm -hmm. I, I cut everything first and then I decide which one goes. Then I try to adjust them as the as the real size, you know, like, for example, I know that this is bigger than this, for example. So then I adjust that uh, in my opinion, you know. Oh, I wanted to show you something else, but I want to show you with this. OK, copy. That is a really nice effect. Oh, here is OK. For example, with this, no, or no, let's mm -hmm. let's pick, for example, this, this, not this. Um, now, what is really nice to, with this composition is, for example, you copy and then you you change the size, no? Mm -hmm. And then you copy this and then you make it literally smaller. I don't know. It's like something that sometimes I do and I find really fine. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, you can play with sizes, with, with, is that crumb caramel with chocolate? Yeah, and maybe you can make it's not it's not a pattern, but it's like some sort of composition. If you want to highlight something, maybe you can add text. But I really I really like this. Like I don't know, it's like to play. Yeah, of course. So we yeah. have different sizes of the same, but whenever you have multiple object or food, you try to keep the proportions. Yeah, yeah. So when you play the proportions, especially because here the people don't know the real sizes of these, but when you are playing with something that everybody knows, you have to be like really aware of this. Okay, so now I like to add some text uh, in some of the posters. I do on some, I, I don't, but here let's try. Okay, for example, 
these are um when well, i going to to write it in english argentinian desserts <laughs> thank you no okay but Let's... we have oliver saying it's one degree currently in uh, where uh, Northans. Uh, where um Nortons, which i have no idea where that is let's see if it, oliver told us before otherwise oliver if you can tell us exactly where that is my geography is not that broad hmm. i hope it's not in the uk <laughs> <It's> in the <laughs> <place. laughs> i'm not british enough my <laughs> friends say that uh, i am as, Brit as british as mozzarella cheese which is zero percent <laughs> full italian cheese um oh. steve is saying it's summer here in new zealand so it's lovely warm and sunny beautiful oh new zealand i really like to to know to go to go there i love flight of the conquerors you know this tv show mm -hmm. i really like that yeah so it was exactly the uk in the midlands east midlands oh. i mean the northwest so <laughs> i need to learn a little bit more about east midlands so it's okay. one degree okay do you see okay my my the back the bottom of my photoshop because paco told me that don't go down this level paco yes we see I, we it's see okay you, we see you yeah I, I, no, if there perfect. is any issue i will let you know we oh have paco perfect behind the scene helping us out um with making sure that we look amazing perfect. and sound amazing and everything is okay but if there is any issue he will let us know he's always behind the scene looking after us and the stream and we had him in chat before as well saying hello Mm. so but you, you're doing great and everything looks great i'm just getting hungry what is that yeah. bread with the what is the first one the top on the left um top on the left this yes this is ice cream this is this is really nice it's called almendrado it's um this is vanilla ice cream with the the, the crust of almonds like crushed almonds like praline you know almond with oh. caramel and this is hot chocolate and when you go to the restaurant they bring you the, the the ice cream and then in a in a really little glass the hot chocolate so you pour on your ice cream by yourself now it's unbelievable this was my favorite dessert when i was a kid oh i can tell that's why i was like because it looked like bread in a bread shape so yeah, but I did, yeah. But it was it was too yes, thick to be bread. because it is made like in a in a loaf uh oh. loaf container and then they oh, slice okay. it so when you you on the the you 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 could get the the end parts no the, the beginning of the end it was the best because it was the one with more crust mm -hmm. so so yummy so the first thing i'm gonna go in argentina what is the name of this uh, al almendrado almendrado yeah 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 you should try this it's really nice oh, on this i'm going to tell you because i'm i'm hungry now this is uh don pedro no it's yeah don pedro which is um is a cream ice cream with nuts and this is whiskey <gasps> oh so yes. we have cream whiskey and nuts yeah mm. it's like Good a meal. magic magical combination so Look, I don't know if it's correct spell, you know, casata with double S yeah. and double T. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is what I'm trying when I start adding the text. So I decide the size. I think maybe like this is okay. Mm -hmm. And then I group the picture with the text because otherwise it's going to, you know, because some, uh, it gets to a point that you have so many layers that you can't find anything. It's like a mess. So I, I, uh, link layers mm -hmm. so if i decide to this i can move around with the poster with the dessert yeah with the yeah with the dessert sorry it's Don't okay care. we're also learning a bit of spanish yeah <laughs> okay so how did you find the font the fo well uh, the first poster a designer made it for me mm -hmm. yes because i i am not that good designing i mean i like it but she made a really, I think, like, no, I think she, she picked really nice uh, fonts for me. Absolutely. Yeah. Very lovely. Yes, because they are not vintage, but they are not modern. I don't know. It's like. It's a vintage mod. It's a modern vintage look. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I really like this. Now I am making this for a brand here that they hired me to make a poster with their products. Mm -hmm. 
and they want me to change the font and I am like no it's a, it's my poster yeah <laughs> uh, the poster is like it goes like this you can change it I think I will change it yeah it's maybe for their their actual brand whatever is uh... yeah yes yes I, I think don't you care. linked the title yes yes I am trying to undo that uh, okay here you go. here and here yeah here you go perfect so I'm going to write all the names down okay and everyone has a another comment or or want to say oh, we're all talking about uh weather so RB okay says it's 12 degree summer in new zealand 30 degree in mexico so oh. we have all sort of all over the place um, all literally all over the place we have hot and cold yeah. in uh, uh uk mexico argentina new zealand <laughs> let's oh. see i'll give you the live update here because it's so freezing I was actually in Canada oh, and in oh. Chicago in the past weeks. So here we're yeah. zero now, zero, <sighs> zero. And tonight is going to go, probably it's going to snow in Manchester. I look forward to it. I was mm. in uh, Canada and it was so cold. Mm. I went to Niagara Fall and I had a chance to see Niagara in the snow. Mm. Um, so amazing. You as a photographer, I'm sure you would have absolutely loved. Oh, yeah. There is a train that goes <laughs> from um, the actual city uh, from yeah. Union Station into mm -hmm. um, the Niagara city. Yeah. Because I didn't know, but Niagara is actually like a full city. I just thought that that was the oh, name of the... Oh, okay. Yeah. And the more you were going with this train, you were going yeah. like, it looked like um, like a fairy tale sort oh. of imaginary place because you were going slowly, slowly into yeah. less civilization and just woods yeah. and snow. So it was oh. just so magic. And then we arrived to Niagara and it was like over a meter of snow. So we went from mm. no snow to like this uh, dreamy snow place. Mm. And it was oh. just incredible to see the, the falls with the, with the snow around. This was like a few weeks ago? Yeah, it was literally a week ago. Oh, I really want to know Canada. Erin <gasps> yeah. is saying, I am in Canada. This morning was minus 22. Oh, yes. What? I'm going to, to know Canada in summer. Yes. <laughs> where, about are you, where about are you based, Erin? Uh, where in Canada? I was in Toronto. I met the lovely uh, Annika that is in Toronto as well. Is another streamer mm. here. So and where is, where is where is the, the, the person from that is uh, with a, us? Uh, she. Oh, Erin. Uh, at the moment, we just have Canada, Calgary. Okay. Calgary. Calgary. Oh, okay. Minus oh, 22. I, Do you go I, out I, ever with this weather? <laughs> my question is, Erin. Yeah. I'm too Italian for my blood is not made for cold. No, no, neither do I. No. Uh, I want to go to Montreal. Yes, Canada is all gorgeous. Mm, uh, yeah. Vancouver, Montreal. Mm. Um, they're all beautiful. Such a oh. beautiful place full of nature when we arrived there was also um snow next to yeah. the sea it was so surreal because mm. imagine like a beach but you have snow instead of having the sand and the sea you have yeah. snow and then the sea which mm. is actually like, oh, no. like beautiful also it's all coming together yes it's all coming together this is what takes most time Maybe you have to resize them before adding the text because mm -hmm. now that I'm resizing, but you get it the same. And we're nearly approaching our last half an hour together. So everybody make sure to ask your questions regarding photography, regarding maybe freelance life or composition, anything that you want here together. As I always say, this is a safe community for us to learn together at Adobe Live. So if you have any question for Magali, we have her here with us for another half an hour live. So feel yeah. free to use the chat and I'll pass any question. You'll be so open. Thank you so much, Magali, for answering all the questions in such an yes. open manner. Oh, I think this is the way is more fun, no? Because otherwise I feel like I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not alone. I'm here no. alongside no. all this wonderful community. Yeah. Sean, saying hello. Oh, we have right away a question. So how Good. to price your work? Very important question for all freelancers. Oh, 
and really hard and really hard questions. Mm, I think the first thing I would do is to to try to talk to other photographers, you know, um, to to know how they how they write, um, how this the me or maybe talk to a producer or Will ask, people give you the information because I find it really hard in real life to. It's it's really hard. Well, sometimes you have a friend, but sometimes people lie with that. I don't know why. You know, they say that they charge a lot, and there's it's like there is no way you're charging that. But I don't know. It's really hard. But when you talk to producers, they they do know what the average rates are. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes some clients they come to you and they say, "I have this money," so it makes more easy because you say yes or no. Mm -hmm. So, but um, then you have to take um, you have to like balance the, the the if you have expenses. For example, I have a studio. I have a, a photo assistant. I have a, a executive producer that work with me. So I, I pay them a month. So I have expenses. So I need to charge like I have a minimum, you know, in order to cover all my fees, my expenses. But maybe if you're starting and you don't have all that less expenses, you, you can... If you like the job and you think that maybe you need that to make portfolio, you know, uh, it's okay maybe you can charge less and and i mean in the beginning i charged less because it and it was to make portfolio you know and to show and to show that you're working with brands and to get people know you because that's the most important because the recommendations it's like a really powerful someone that work with you and like the job it's really possible that they will recommend you mm -hmm. So, so it's really hard, but but I think it's something that you 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 get to learn because some sometimes you pass a budget and they say okay yes really fast and you say oh you, you were so cheap, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but then when you over if you uh, increase the rate they maybe they they say no thank you and you say oh it was too high I could do that for less so. There is no 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 answer, but just in order you to, I think there is nice when you find people that you can say like, okay, this is the budget, but let me know because I really want to do this. So let's talk about this. You know, when you find humans that are open to to talk about price, mm -hmm. and it's important, I think, also to understand like how long does it take you. So you know, practice with your personal project to have an idea of time. So you know, if something takes you a day, two days, hours. That can uh, give you like a general idea. That 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 thing to think in my process or to make it. To make it. Oh no! I usually make. Sorry. No no no! Go ahead, please. Ah uh, no! That I usually make. It depends on the project, but sometimes it takes a day or two. I tend to make like between from six to ten images per day. Mm -hmm. So, but you have like a lot of work previously, no? You're like getting the things, like having lots of meetings, like PPMs with client agency in case of advertising or or just because I I used to, to make a lot of, I used, no, I do a lot of presentations, you know, a lot of sketches and to think about the pictures and to share with the team, you know, to-, to Do you have any sketch? By like any chance or any notebook or something that you can show yes, us. Yes, yes. Um, because mm. mm. that's yes, like I think that getting this real behind the scene. Because yes. imagine a lot of people that are starting are afraid to. Yes. Okay. Well, but my drawings, you know, it's really it encouraging. That's, that's, encouraging that's... <laughs> because. <laughs> okay. Yes. Me. Yes. If you could just. Fantastic. We have a little bit of a behind Maybe. the scene talk here. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm going to back. I'm going to back to my the Zoom. Okay. I, I don't see my camera. I, I have a lot of delay. No, it's we're, we're just perfect. We can see it. Okay. Uh, 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 where can I see you? Where can I see the other? Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. This is another one. 
and because I used to, uh, I think I recently made a project. I make lo lots of lists, you know. Um, yeah, I don't have them here. I make lots of lists to like writing, you know, like uh, like okay, here is the background is blue, the 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 I don't know the the flying is pink. I I I think about the colors, so then I can tell the team what I, I am imagining. Um, so I maybe I think the color palette, I think uh, like the the main concept. So I made some drawings, but everything is in order to to the people to understand me you know because when there is an idea it's sometimes it's really hard to communicate it that's amazing and and how do you share this so first of all thank you so much for sharing your your personal notes i think that that's so helpful for everybody that watches because that that is the reality of yeah. uh, working with contracts and with your with your projects yeah and uh, um also my question was how do you pass that so how do you share those notes do you scan them do you take photo do you share no meetings? Or you do no I, I i don't i don't i don't show a lot these drawings i mean i make presentations with like mood boards you know and then sometimes i show the the drawings but then i i search for references that they look something like what i have in my mind sometimes it's really hard to find references that are exactly what you and if I find a reference that is exactly what I have in my mind, I don't like. I don't. It's not original. <laughs> um, but um, then I, I, but I, I get references and um, and maybe sometimes I show the, the the drawings. But I don't think I don't know if that's useful <laughs> for for <laughs> anyone. I use a lot of text. You know, like this is really clear. Like here, I imagine like a tree and uh, uh i don't know uh, with a bag and the, and the color palette is this and then because it's, it's nice when you when you work with another actor to give room the other people to to create you know totally yeah and also at the same time you can give some reference yeah yeah the reference are like a like a two two way you no know? um how do you say here is like a two like a, a two way weapon like it's, yeah. It's, yeah it can it can help you but it can't it can go against your voice what i was talking about and your originality because i think it's really important to start looking for references after you 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 have your concept and after you have your idea clear because otherwise you you get confused with all the references you know and and maybe you 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 see a reference and maybe you start thinking about that. I mean, there are a lot of copies and, and maybe some of them are not with the intention of copy. But when mm -hmm. you look at something too much, maybe then you the, the limits are not clear. And people always forget that like the world are looking for references in the same places. You know, mm -hmm. we are all looking at the same images and so Pinterest, Instagram. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's like there are no unknown sources of everyone. So the people who is copy, uh, they, are, they are copying um, that. A lot of people are copying the same. So if you want to 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 work on your voice and on your originality, I mean, stay away from taking idea from Pinterest. Or yeah. um, yes, yes, to have some, of course, to look for references and oh, I like this, how they use this, the, the spoon, how they put the spoon here, but not taking a world picture as a reference because that is, it's like I know it's sometimes. And it's, there are a lot, yeah. So, sorry to interrupt you, but there are lots of, a lot of um, like libraries. That's yeah. what I tend to do, like uh, archives. So uh -huh. if you go, like, for example, I was doing something related to fashion myself and I just went in Milan. That's why I was in Milan and I went through the archives of Versace and I just get like all the Versace original invites that are oh. in the library, in the Politecnico from the 80s, the 70s. Like Ooh. there is like and that's the way I think you better research through history yeah. of design. And that's still, you know, Picasso said that is always copying, you know. 
Ah. There was a fa okay. famous quote quote about Picasso uh, regarding that nothing is new, everything is basically recreated all the time. Yeah. But I think that having going to different places, like you're saying, for inspiration mm. really, really help. And to cue on that, there is actually a question on inspiration from Shirley saying, where does your inspiration come from to start a project like the one that you're doing now? And which is the postres. And uh, any advice to edit the colors of the food on any project? Okay. Okay. The inspiration uh, in this, but wait, just a, a few, a, a quick comment. Where did you see that Versace? It's a library in, in Milan. Yeah, it's the university called Politecnico. Mm, I, I mean, that would, mm, sounds amazing. I'll send you, I'll send you a link on Instagram. <laughs> yes, yeah, because I, I would love to see that. Of course, it's yeah. definitely a place to visit. They have a full archives. Mm, like like paper, paper or digital, paper. Oh, the no, real no. thing, the real mm. thing. Yes, that that must be amazing. Um. Okay. So here, the inspiration for this, especially this, especially what this one uh, is like. My these are my childhood um, desserts. You know, this is the thing that. I ate when I went to restaurants with my parents or what they used to do when we end dinner, you know, like this is a pancake, which is, a, um, it's like, I don't know how to say it. It's, it's pancake. filled with, yeah, like pancake. Crepe. Yeah, it's like a crepe, exactly. It's exactly like a crepe. It's filled with dulce de leche and then they, they put sugar on it and they burn it. They uh -huh. burn it and they have like, you know, like, Creme brulee, like hard? Mm, yes. No, no, no. It, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so amazing. Yeah. So um, regarding to the color correction, um, yes, I think <laughs> I try to to do that when I am when I am shooting, uh, not in Photoshop, uh, mm -hmm. but you you have to. To, it's, it's about more, I think, the, the color temperature, no? The, the color correction when you... Because food, uh, you, you can't touch the, the color of the food that much. Mm -hmm. So um, I think you have to check when you are shooting that the color, it's okay, the color temperature to check. I, I tend to to warm, to shoot everything a little warm but because I like this. I like this <laughs> way. No, you know, everything is a little bit yellow. <laughs> Um, but uh, I mean, this, if you are, for example, I'm going to, to try to do this here. For example, if you do, where should, you, you know, where can I, because I will go here. I don't know. Well, let's just to see a quick, for example, a quick cook. Ah, no. Where am I working on? Okay. <laughs> let's do this side. Wait. Yeah. The, the filter is just at the bottom. If you go yeah. back. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. No, just to apply to everything. Okay. To see the cooling, for example, cooling filter, you know, the cool filters, the, the, the cold light is it, not good for food. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, it's not uh, appetizing, you know, it's, or the green, the green is something that don't work. It the looks green, like, yeah, like frozen. That. Yeah. And especially when people, where, where, with people, the green is like a no, a big no. Well, when you say they're warming, this is too warm, but this is way better. So I will check with that. Um, I don't remember the name of the person who asked. So the question regarding the color was Shirley. Shirley, Shirley. So I hope Shirley that uh, answer your questions. Fantastic. Okay. So, um, I'm going to to touch a little bit this this I used to do the or this uh, by separate before doing this but now I'm oh wait that everything is like that. Yeah. I there you go so it's better to do this separate but sometimes I like to to remove these spots sometimes I like the natural cracks on food but. Mm -hmm. Just depending, like if it's a where is it? If it's yeah, sometimes the the dish, the plates like get dirt, and mm -hmm. I don't like that. Or maybe this is too perfect, no? Like mm -hmm. it's amazing what she does. But like this, 
this for we example, can spend it, days. Yes, you can be. For example, here is it. Yes, I I don't not a big retoucher. Like um, I don't retouch a lot, but sometimes this kind of of things I like to just to make everything. For example, this was a it has stains. Sometimes the dishes are not new, and they have like especially in the restaurants, you know, like I Some always marks. ask. Yeah, please bring me new plates for the photo shoots. So, like, oh, yeah, the glass there. Yeah, the, one, the glass is really, really hard. For example, this is really hard to get to. Hi. And I love the way that, like, you zoom in so much. So, all these details then uh, will even become more invisible when you work when you zoom out for the final poster composition. I'm sorry? That you're working with a very big zoom, which is fantastic. So that when you bring it to the final size, the real yeah. size, yeah. you will see it even better. Because the more you work in detail, the better will look. Yeah, exactly. Yes, because I like to bring these posters like really big, like 50 uh, and, and 70 centimeters. Okay. Yes, and they are really nice. That's perhaps a very good question regarding sizes. So what are the usual outputs for your work? Um, well, it depends on the, on the, for example, if it's a magazine, I always ask them what is the size of the, of the page, you mm -hmm. know? Sometimes they don't use the, the, the whole page, the picture in the whole page, but it's good to know the proportion. And Sometimes I, 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 I shoot mostly on Instagram, four and five, no? Four, how do you say? Four, X five? Four by five. Yes, four by five. Um, that is what a, a lot of people ask to because if, if you shoot with the regular, uh, the camera size is uh, it's a little, little taller mm -hmm. that, than Instagram. So so four, four by five, I think is the, the, the one I mostly use. I'm going to go back. And just a quick note for Amelia. Amelia, yeah. she says hello. And she said that she loves your work. Uh, she Thank missed you. the beginning of the show. So it's going to be somewhere to watch it later on. Yes, Amelia, this stream, alongside all the other Adobe Live streams, are available for replay on the Adobe Live YouTube channel. So just hop on YouTube and subscribe on Adobe Live. And you will be able to access these and many other live streams. They are there just waiting for you, full of inspiration like this amazing work oh one more question for you from Manu yeah. monte yeah i have a question do you work with galleries like selling prints does that actually works for a photographer does it help to pay for production of personal work i mean i don't know i am currently finding that out i think it's a, diff a really different world no they are they are um the art world it's really different um, but I think I think it's always like paying for your own for your own work production. That is the question in the end. If it um, if you sell prints or do anything that to support uh, oh. the production of your personal work. Okay. Yes. Also, for example, these kind of posters. I'm going to delete this. Uh, these kind these posters. I sell them. Okay. Uh, and, and with this money, I I make my my personal projects. So those are just your own <clears throat> that you sell, or uh, for example, this poster. Did someone came to you to produce it, and then you sell it, or you just make it and then you sell it afterwards? <clears throat> do you sell any, Do you sell any of your personal work? Oh no, no, I I only sell this. I don't sell my other work. Sometimes. Yeah. What is the difference in example between this work and your personal work? I don't know because this is a product, you know. It's like I I I thought it in the big I I I start to sell this because a lot of people ask me to it. So so I say okay, this is something like as it's so typical and local that everyone feels familiar with this, but I don't know how it's different, but it's it's like a poster that is made like I don't know. It's different than a person. I, I mean, it's a personal work, but mm -hmm. I sometimes I sell pictures. Sometimes people ask me to, but I don't have like 
like uh, like in the store. Mm -hmm. But for example, now that I am, I made uh, recently, like uh, the week before, last week, I made um, a really nice project that I've been working on for months, and um, and I I want to ex to exhibit it or something. I don't want it to to show it in Instagram and mm -hmm. only, you know. So I I I don't know how how to do that yet. But okay. it's a nice question. Yeah, if anyone knows. And I saw that you actually have a because I'm actually going around your um, Instagram and stuff now. Right now, you have an Etsy shop as well. Yes, I do. I do because um, I have one an Etsy shop for worldwide and another one for Argentina, mm -hmm. which yeah. is in your website. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, in, uh, in my website. No, are they all in my bio in my LinkedIn okay. Instagram? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So uh, okay, I'm going to try now to make a um, a pattern with this, mm -hmm. for example, like this. That is my favorite now. <laughs> Al Almond no, it's not Almondigas, that's something else. Almendra. Thinking about Albondigas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds similar. What is it called again? Almendrado. Almendrado. Albondigas yeah. are the meatball, right? Yes, Albondigas are the meatballs. Oh, so Italian. The so dinner yeah. time here is nearly 7 30 which reminds me mm. that unfortunately oh. we have pretty much less than 15 minutes together so do oh. use this time to ask any questions uh, to magali we're here for just a little bit longer but as i said before reminding everybody that you can watch these of uh this stream and many others on the youtube channel so feel free to just chill with us ask questions in the chat and then you can go back and watch it again um Yes. and ask your questions uh we have some that has been sharing all the links so we have your website uh, magalipolverino.com then we have your behance page and your instagram and from your instagram bio you can access the argentinian shop or the international etsy shop yeah thank you thank you for sharing Ooh, that looks so cool i love how yeah. the colors work together yeah so is the food that inspires the color or is the fall color that is get chosen first and then the food needs to be made out of the same color mm. how does that work because that you know with ingredients can be hard to yeah match color sometimes yeah it is i think so, it, it, well it works two ways sometimes maybe you choose colors and then you pick up foods that has the colors but sometimes uh for example these are the typical colors of the of we didn't choose the color. We just choose the uh, the desserts. Mm -hmm. And but sometimes it's nice to think in colors, no? And then think, for example, at the pastry or or ice cream, you can play with colors a lot. With with savory food, you, you no, you can. There are not so joyful colors. <laughs> yeah, the pastry can do so much more. The what? With the pastry, you can do so much yeah, more with fruits yeah. and flowers and Ooh, they are like toys. <laughs> I love, yeah. Well, because I love cooking, so <laughs> oh, you inspire me to take better picture of my food now. I usually just share it with my mom and my boyfriend, but <laughs> yeah, the least you can do with your mom is share the pictures. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> after everything she sends. Yeah. Okay. I think this is nice. No, that's really cool. Yeah. Really lovely. Oh, so we went right into preview mode. Yeah. How did you do that? Share with us. Yeah. Look, with the F key, you press and press and press. You, here is one press, second and third. It's really easy and it's really nice to see that, that things sometimes without any distractions. <laughs> yes. RB is saying, leave some cassata for us, Clary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat That's... it all. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I hope your mom was on the chat. It's very weird. They're always like lurking in the background, like, oh. hi. And they, oh. I think my mom was banned once because she was speaking in Italian because they don't speak much English, although they now oh. go on the translation. Yeah. And I tell them, be very careful because sometimes the translator, like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. My dad was trying to say something to a builder with a using the translator and i yeah. don't know what was the word but i think about taking down a wall and instead yeah. of taking down the word that i come out was murder so i know 
<laughs> I was like, murder the world. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes it can be dangerous. So cute. Oh, my mom, my, my mom is not good at with the computer. So when I give some this kind of conferences or chats, she's like always on the phone, like I can't get in. The link is not working. <laughs> it's like, okay, mom, I'm sorry, I can't do this right now. <laughs> well, likely she has um she has a uh, access with a replay as well on YouTube. That's yeah, I, I will send. Mm. Amazing. Okay. So I think we're nearly like on the last 10 minutes. So yeah. I don't know if you have anything else to show us. And then whenever you're ready, we can do a little bit of a like walking back to what we've been doing with the, two, yes. with the selections. Uh, yes. up to you. We have 10 minutes. Yes. Yes. Okay. No, yes. I think um, that I, I, I am done, but we can do a recap of all the tools we have used. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you, do you want to, to do it? Or I oh, do it? floor is all yours. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect. So, um, first of all, we use the selection tool, which is this, the, which is beautiful, the quick selection tool. You, all, you also taught us to use the object selection tool. And the magic one tool that we didn't use, but I love to. It's, it's, not, it's not that useful because I don't understand it, but I love it. Sometimes it works for me. Quick selection tool works all the time. It's beautiful. Then we go to select a mask. Well, let's do this with one. For example, with this. For example, this. And then we go to select a mask and with refined edge. Oh, this is tricky. Well, I don't remember which one we, I think it's this. Yeah, I think it's that one too. Yeah. So you 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 refine the shadow. This is really important in order then to to apply. Well, I think. And then you copy and you save it as a PNG. And then you have the image ready to start making the composition. And you can do that with the, all the images you want. And you can add them to your file. And then you can I mean then you can be choosing. Okay, then you can hide the layers. In case you don't want to use all of them, um, no, like this. But you, you know, you have everything there. Just if something you want to try different things, um, <clears throat> then you you pick the the color of the background that I always decided beforehand because I shoot on color background, and I change it uh, with adding a different layer. No. But the, the thing that you show with the hue, it was amazing. I think that is the best uh, because you can change the color of the background like like a lot, no? like changing the color, literally. And then we remove some spots with the, the with this, um, this is the spot healing brush too. Um, we learn to, to, to remove some spot that you don't like, for example, here. Okay, well, here I have too many layers. Here, for example, here you can remove some stains. It's really fun to do this. It's really like therapy, therapy, to remove things and shines. Um, it's very relaxing, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is. You can get lost in editing. Yeah, and then if you do it in a different layer and you uh, like. Um, how do you say this? Like you show and unshow the layer with the corrections, yeah. it's really pleasure. Well, you have a lot of pleasure to see what a lot of satisfying is. before yeah. and after. <laughs> yeah. So, so well, that's but I recommend doing that, that removing the stains and the imperfections when you are cutting the image. No, like when you start making the compositions, the best is to have all the images ready because. It's, it's a little bit chaotic because you have a lot of layers. Sometimes you can, I used to do that, then I didn't do that anymore, but you can name layers, no? Like for example, say, okay, this is the casata. But when you have like 25 uh, casata. things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also you have repeating elements. It will be casata one yeah. row. Casata one. in the top, casata <laughs> in the middle. But yeah, but that is uh, another thing that Photoshop improved. That when you point with the click, you no, know, with the arrow there, you click 
then it takes you to the layer that you're using because in the old Photoshop, it didn't happen this way. You have mm -hmm. to like, okay, this is no, this is not. This no, is there, no, is, a, this there is, is an option that you probably have now selected, which is on top of the option bar to the very left. There is a little yeah. tick where it says auto select <clears throat> just below yeah. the, where you see where you see the little home icon. Here. The first row is low. Below. Ah, here. Okay. On the right, la derecha says auto select. Uh, okay. Ah, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Oh, so if you turn ah. it off, it doesn't work. If you turn it on, it works. Ah, it's well. been there for a while. So now probably you had it turned on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. I get, I think I, I really like I really like this because when you have so many layers and I think it's really nice whether you are doing this or another kind of, of, of retouch, maybe you are just retouching a full picture and you are not making a composition. It's for me it's it's better if you separate in the more amount of layers you can because you can undo anything you know uh, so it's more safe to have lots of layers everything separated in layers no what do you think yeah i tend to use smart object after so uh, i don't know if you work we have a couple there so whenever you do editing smart object work like a little box so if you mm. double click, can you see the layer that have the little icon inside yeah. the layers panel? Mm -hmm. The little icon at the bottom with a little like file. Yeah. Here. No, inside the hey. layer. So postres. Ah, inside the layer. Yeah. yeah. So any other postres that have the little icon at the ah. right here. So I say yeah. smart object. If you double click on it, that's yeah. actually another file. So you oh. can make editing there. And that let's oh. let's do something. Just just do do one thing, whatever. Just yeah. delete something example, or whatever. Yeah. Just select yeah, that. Yeah. And then yeah. um let's see, something a little bit perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And then save it. Command S or Command, Command S. S. Yeah. And close it. Okay. And saving. Yeah. Oh see? no. And it's made in all the files. Yeah, so this is because those are the same, the copy are the same. Now, if you want to make a difference, you can choose any of these. Oh my gosh, we have literally two minutes. See if we can do that. If okay, you right okay. click, if you right yeah. click on the layer, instead of yeah. making a copy, there is a duplicate. Um, yeah. New smart object via, sorry, not there. Um, not there, sorry. Right click on it and there is a duplicate. New smart object via copy. New smart object via copy. Yeah. Now yeah. that will create a duplicate, which is unlinked. So if you double click and do something else, it will only change that one on its own. If I double, so if you click... double click yeah, on that one that you created. Yeah. And you ah. open it, change something else, like do another, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then save it and close it. Yeah. It should bring you back to only one edit for that specific copy. Because Oh, yeah. so oh my God, I learned so copy. much. <laughs> Create a duplicate via copy me makes a, an unlinked unlinked mm. copy. While if you just create, it just going to make a copy. But unfortunately, it is time to say goodbye. We've learned so much and it's been so beautiful to see your workflow. Uh, before we say goodbye, I want to remind everybody to stick around because we have the wonderful Illustrator Critic Challenge with Jack Watson. And then if you need help and you look forward to create new brand, there is more food, but in this time it's going to be uh, gourmet food for pets. There is a Ooh. brand um, that is being brought together by the brand designer and packaging designer, Lila Laurelan Peachy, and she will create a brand identity for the Fresh Po brand um, during the upcoming stream. So two more streams coming up. So much more fun. Magali. Thank you for this time together. I had a, I definitely gonna, I already messaged you on Instagram with the, yeah, uh, all okay. the things, but we'll stay in touch. And everybody, yeah. don't forget to watch more videos. We're always live on Behance, but there are so many replays also on the YouTube Adobe Live. So even when we're offline, there is so much more inspiration here uh, to watch both on the Adobe Live YouTube channel and here on Behance. Thank you so much, Magali. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Ciao. Bye. Bye.